party starter. Everybody, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? What we want to do is capture a video of just really getting started with the AWS PowerShell tools. So up to this point, personally, I've been using the uh, the AWS CLI tools for um, for you know Bash and and your traditional Linux and and Unix shells. Um, however, I wanted to kind of start doing some more some more PowerShell stuff, and why not, right? So. Uh, you can quickly find this page that I'm on. I'll, I'll probably, or not probably, I will provide the link uh, to this page in the description as well as to the AWS uh, tooling docs. So these docs are money. This is exactly what you're going to be referencing if you want to see what type of parameters, etc., that you could um, provide these commandlets. That's all going to be found here in the documentation. Okay. So what I wanted to capture is really just kind of getting started, but then just uh, really wanted to just take you down, down this path of how I uh, kind of just peruse the documentation to make sense of it also. All right. Uh, so before we jump in, I think it's important to note I am already running uh, PowerShell on this Mac machine. We can see here uh, Darwin, uh, kernel, etc. You can see we're on a Unix platform. All right, so if you don't have PowerShell, uh, go out and get it. You can easily do that by, uh, you know, just uh, Googling PowerShell. It should take you out to the GitHub page, and, and you'll, you'll see it out there. So go ahead and get that. Pull it down. Uh, if, you, if, if you don't want to do that, you can also um, just go and grab the .NET Core SDK, and I believe you can do an install from the global command or global tools. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Okay, so we're, we've already have it installed. Um, so now what we want to do is go ahead and, and get started with um, AWS module. So here we're going to do install tech module, name AWS tools, dot installer, tech force. And if we do some reading here, we, we're going to see if by doing this method is going to keep us up to date, etc. So that's what we want um, because we're lazy and we don't want to you know manage updates, etc. Uh, in regards to this. So let's go ahead and do the install. And it looks like it's satisfying and happy. All right, now we, what we want to do is do it, and I should have probably done a, a verification to show you the, the After Effects. So let's do uh, git command, and then what we're going to say is module, and we're going to do give me all the commandlets from AWS modules. Perfect. So we can see we actually have several here from a common, common module. We've got the EC2 module commandlets, and it looks like we have S3. Okay. Um, so that's awesome. Tons of stuff here. If we wanted to, let's do and we could actually get a count. So let's do measure object. So we have 538 commandlets, and this is really just from S3, uh, EC2, and then whatever this common one is, uh, as you can see here, which looks like it's kind of just setting up and configuring the the environment itself with credentials etc we can do a video on how to get the, um, the the credentials and all that started um, but what what I want to do now is take it a step further okay so we can see here um, I can do an install of the module of the specific service so in this case EC2 in this case s3 which you've already seen that's a, what we have but again back to or doing some more further reading and uh, discovery with this with these documentation or with these docs look at look at how rich this tool set is literally these are all of Amazon services um, that we are able to to manage uh, manipulate etc with 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 uh, with our PowerShell tools and again that's that's great if you're a PowerShell guy because um, Again, you're, the, you're much, that much more valuable. So, for instance, um, we can see this documentation. So, if there's a service that I, I haven't played with or, or whatever, and I need to, to get the tools up and running, what we would do is let's go down here and say, well, uh, I need to manage ECS. Okay. So, EC, ECS looks like it's the, the container service. Well, how do I do that? I'm going to come down here and it looks like ECS and based on this pattern we can see here available in so all of these commandlets so what these docs are saying is all of these commandlets all of these 
are available in aws.tools.ec2, which is kind of like namespace, right? If you're if you're a .NET guy, um, and then this looks like that is another namespace or another namespace. Uh, I'm not sure. We can click on one of these, see where these take us. Okay, so that's actually um, some other some other PowerShell modules that Amazon's managing. Okay, but let's not focus on those. Let's see. We can actually go and see what this is doing as well. Okay, it looks like it's just some carved out more modules, but we're accessing them via that install, um, the install modules. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy, we copy him, and we'll go back to our thing. All right, and let's go back to the documentation. So we can see here, we're going to say install tack AWS module, tack whatever tools I'm trying to um, install. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, install. So we'll say install. Install tag. AWS tools module, and then we'll paste that guy. So that's going to say, hey, go out, grab down the container service commandlets and modules, and and let me have access to them. So uh, okay, what? Oh, there's a period there. Sorry. Uh, so let's can we can hit uh we'll hit cancel here. Clear that. All right. So we're gonna say attack force. We know what we're doing. At least we think we do. Okay. So now it appears that it's installed that module. Um, and I guess you could have all of these installed, but I I mean as you saw the documentation, there's there's tons of them. So I uh, I guess install as needed. So we'll clear this out and let's run the git command again. And we should see uh, our ECS stuff. So er, yeah, ECS. So here's all of our ECS: update cluster settings, update uh, update container agents, etc. So that's how you're going to um, install more modules uh, that you need regarding the AWS uh, PowerShell tooling. We are being uh, bombed by my two-year-old who's showing me some frozen waffles um, but that's really all I wanted to capture today is getting started with the tooling and we're gonna build on this um, in future videos so stick around for that if if you like it go ahead and give it a like if you want, go ahead and want to subscribe to this channel because you like this content and you want to uh, to see and hear more of it uh, we'd love you to do that and also Shoot me a message in the chat below if there's something you want to, uh, if you want me to do, uh, an idea uh, or whatever. We're always open to that. And then whatever feedback you may have, uh, go ahead and blast away. So until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.